Hi guys, hope you're all staying well. Um, so today, you may have noticed I'm probably looking a little bit more tired than normal. Um, that's not because I've had a late night, but just because I'm feeling a little bit fatigued, a little bit tired. The weather changing hasn't helped. Normally I'm getting out in about with my kids in the garden or we're going on a walk, but this week the rain has stopped that. So I'm feeling a bit lethargic, but it's made me think about what I want to talk to you about, which is perseverance. Because it's easy to have all these ideas about what we want to achieve. So imagine when you've got your New Year's resolutions and you say, I'm going to go to the gym every day or I'm going to get my homework done on time. Um, and when we started lockdown, I think there was a lot of talk about what we're going to do to be better people during this time. And we all had these grand ideas. And six weeks in, it's getting a little bit boring because as my kids said today, it's like being on holiday apart from you can't go anywhere. And then my other child went and you have to do loads of homework. Um, but the novelty maybe has worn off now and we're all desperate to get some form of normality. And so that idea of fatigue where you get tired, not just in your body tired, but mentally you can get tired. And when you're mentally tired, you're not getting stimulated the same as normal. It does impact on your physical well-being as well and it changes your mood and your relationships with those around you because you get a little bit fed up. So what I want to encourage you is to persevere because actually you can still achieve things even though you might feel like giving up. So as you know, I've been doing Joe Wicks with my kids every day and that's one thing that we have really enjoyed and one thing that's been new for me to do that regular half an hour exercise every morning. But I noticed that when we started out with the six weeks, there was like 900,000 live viewers. And now it's probably gone down to a regular 200,000 live viewers. Why? Because people started out with these really good intentions, but we know that people don't keep it up. They get fed up. There's days where I don't want to do it. Even this week, Joe Wicks was like, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like this, but I'm going to do it because I know by the end, I'm going to feel a lot better. And so I want to say to you right now, you might be feeling like you can't be bothered, but keep going, keep persevering. Whatever it is that you are set out to try and do, is it to get your work done really well, to be regularly active, to be cooking, keep going because you will feel that real sense of achievement when you break through. Marathon runners, that's not me, but I'm her, I've been told marathon runners have to persevere through something they call the wall. We all know that they don't hit a physical wall, but it's called that because it's a psychological wall. Although their body is running and their legs are moving, the brain is saying, you need to stop now. You can't do it. It's too hard. Give up. And so at that point, they could decide, I can't be bothered with this anymore. I'm going to give up. But once they break through that psychological wall and their brain says you can do this, their body is able to then keep going. And they say it becomes a lot easier after that and they get in their stride. So you might now have felt six weeks, it's the length of the summer holidays, you've hit your wall, it's the length of a half term, we all get tired at this six week point. I feel like I need to give up. Don't, whatever you set out to achieve, don't give up. Keep going till the very end. Um, if you are somebody who is watching a bit more TV than normal, I'm going to be honest, I haven't really had time because I'm so busy with my own schedules. But one program that me and my boys have been watching at home that they have loved and I love because I want to be on it is a program on BBC Two. It's on the iPlayer called Race Across the World. And it's five teams set out from one place and have to get to another. So this year they went from Mexico to the bottom of Argentina and they can't go by air, they can only go by land and they use the price of the airfare that it would cost and they can work along the way to get more money but they've got to get there as quick and economically possible um, as they can. And so two teams didn't make it because they didn't plan properly or they just gave up. And then in the end, the finale was amazing because you think they've traveled thousands of miles, but in the final half an hour, there are two teams neck and neck running to the finish line. And one team was like, I can't do this. I'm going to give up. And it was about that perseverance to get to the end, that even though they'd crossed thousands of miles over a period of two months, that perseverance to reach the finish line at the end. Watch it. It will inspire you. You want to see the world after it, but it is a real test of perseverance. And if you think, well, that's not me, I'm not really that over-disciplined person, something that I've said to my year sevens is, you don't need to change everything. 
I heard about somebody who um, wasn't a disciplined person at all, but yet now everyone thinks he's super disciplined. And he said what it, he did was take one thing every year he wanted to change. And he spent that one year working on it and persevering and being disciplined. And then after a year, it became normal for him. And then the next year, he chose something else. I think sometimes we set ourselves these grand ideals about what we're going to do. And then we can't achieve it because it's too big. So set yourself a small task and make sure you stick to it. And once you've achieved that, you think, yeah, I can do it. Persevere at it. Because once you have that sense of achievement, you realise you can achieve a lot more. So that's my advice to you. If you're feeling a little bit like I am, a little bit tired, a little bit heavy, persevere, keep going, and we will get through this. Have a great week, everybody. Stay safe.